Hey guys, Mike Sorg, Sorgatron.com, at Sorgatron on Twitter. Hope you guys are leading up to your holidays and having a good time here. So I wanted to talk about today uh, redundancy and my my philosophy of redundancy. I've, I've talked about this before uh, in, in, in different venues, I know. But uh, and it really saved me. I mentioned on a, on a recent episode how you know we got a little tipsy for Wrestling Mayhem Show 500. It's the time I allow myself. It was a celebration, and and I can only celebrate so much when I'm behind the boards recording. So uh, drinking and technology sometimes it doesn't mix. And when we got to our interview that night with the sexy talented dudes on the uh, Indie Mayhem Show, I will caution you. Against listening to either Wrestling Mayhem Show 500 or Indie Mayhem Show 100, uh, it gets loud. There are 13 people on a podcast at one point, and if you're not a fan already of those things, of those shows, uh, more than the content that we talk about usually, um, I would not really check it out. Maybe even you're probably not sticking around for the full two hours of that thing. But anyways, so thankfully. As we talk about those new wrinkles in our brains, the the things that we learned from in the past, right? And uh, you know, people come in here. Why do you have all these computers? There are one, two, three, four, five, six screens in front of me and to the side of me uh, as I'm recording this. Two more come in here because I bring in a couple laptops when I'm recording full on shows for Tuesday night, right? Um, and one of these in here simply is running Audacity, a free audio program. You guys can start your podcast on today. Just just Type in Audacity into the Google machine or the Yahoo search machine because you're on Firefox. Um, and and you, you, that, that's it. It records. You know, I, I mentioned, mentioned the backups uh, for wrestling. We, that's what we're using for backups for, for the audio for wrestling as well. Um, basically, I've had things fail on me. I have lost content so many times over the years. So I've been doing this for 10 years, uh, specifically this podcast, right? I've had projects disappear on me. I think within the first month or two of being an editor, somehow uh, because I was running out of space on a computer, I trashed the assets for a for a very big project that led to a very bad week for me. Right, and I had to rebuild the thing from the raws. Thankfully, I could find the raws. There's some footage I could never find again because I was new and I didn't know the system yet. Many a podcast where the audio has gone bad. Didn't notice a connection wasn't working. Wasn't monitoring it properly. Uh, and, and, and we turned in... Uh, if you look through the 500 episodes, like as, as, as early as 2009, I pulled up some old interviews. And, and, and we did okay with the interview. But the rest of it is absolute trash when you try to listen to it. I can't... I, I know, there's no way... You know, that you're going to sit back and enjoy that as a podcast. You know, we failed a lot over the 10 years. With uh, with with the wrestling, we've uh, had a lot of uh, uh, you know, we we have issues where you know something happens, a core gets pulled, uh, something goes down, and in in the wrestling, we're using tape cameras still, HDVs now, uh, so everything's in HD, uh, but uh, for the most part, um, depends. Except for when we have split double book shows, they're going to get the SD hardware, unfortunately, but it'll look it'll look good, it'll look good in post edit. Uh, but anyways. And people can DVD for the most part, right? Uh, but uh, we have tapes running in all the cameras. Um, I'm live switching. It's going to, at the, at the time, when we had a hardware live switcher, I was still standard def. We just upgraded all our stuff to the HD that we've talked about in recent weeks uh, and a more digital thing. I don't have a lot of redundancy on my side of things. But if anything goes wrong there, I have tapes running in each of the cameras. And I've had to pull them a few times. Oh, we missed an sh important shot. But the other camera got it. I just didn't have the button on the right guy. You know, it's action. It, you don't know where things are going to go. You don't always get told where people are going to go to do things. And so at least I got one guy there. Even if I wasn't on him, we can go back, snag the tape, put the footage in, and, and, and everything's saved, right? Or uh, I just lost you because uh, we tried this new hardware and, and, and the connection went and I can't get you back without restarting the computer. I'm just going to have to post that at this, this entire match. And we'll just reset it before the next one to help save us time and get this thing out there as quick as possible. And even, um, you know, now I used to be, I would go from the switcher to a camera that was recording the tape, what I was switching in the audio and everything mixed and then that would go into a computer through Firewire, of all things. And then that was the digital capture. And so if something failed somewhere along there, 
you had different levels. Now, because I'm going from these black magic shuttle things that are bringing in the cameras to Wirecast on a computer, and we know Wirecast can fail, as we know from our podcasting. That's why we have Audacity running with an audio backup. That's what saved Indie Mayhem Show 100, because the audio starts skipping for some reason partway through the show. And uh, yeah, I was too uh, obliterated, the vodka, uh, to have noticed during the show or noticed that all the numbers went away that there's nobody in the chat room but we still kept going i was able to bring that together just grab the audio over there clean it up sync it with the video we have a show that's it um when i realized through that system i did not have a backup for the commentary back to wrestling uh because again i had the tape and i had the digital capture right now if wirecast goes i've lost the mix of the audience and the sound from the music and the person in the ring with the microphone, whether it be the announcers or the wrestlers cutting interviews, and and the commentators. And if I lose the commentators, that is a pain in the butt for them to do it in post. I have a guy that, that can do it, but it's a lot to ask of them. Uh, so now I just grab a blue snowball mic, throw it over there on the laptop, and Audacity's running. If everything fails over here, I have all the pieces to rebuild the entire show. Several points of failure. Especially in an environment, whether it be sitting down for an hour podcast with live uh, chat room, stream, even even when, even that, we're streaming the YouTube Live. YouTube Live captures it. I've lost things here in the studio. We've gone to YouTube Live, and I at least have an SD 480p version because that's all I'm, all I'm pushing right now, uh, even though we capture an HD uh, 720. Uh, but uh, just so I'm not pushing the system more than it really needs to, there's no reason. Do you really need this face in 1080? Let's be honest here. Uh, this is recorded at 720 if you're catching us on, on Facebook or, or, or YouTube. Because I, I just don't see much purpose. Do you really need a 4K of this mug going on here? I don't think so. But, uh, but you know, uh, i, I got to roll back to my point. But... <laughs> <laughs> but something can go wrong and and in that live environment you can't tell the the wrestlers to stop in the middle of the ring cuz you didn't catch that please do it again or hold on a second i need to restart this computer no you keep going you keep capturing if something goes wrong you keep capturing with whatever you have on hand if the cameras fail pull out your iphone and hit record on whatever you can right we missed the spot at the last wrestling show, just absolutely nothing was in, in, in position. I basically picked the wrong camera uh, when I figured out what was happening because there was uh, eight people involved in this match. Eight? Yes, eight people. They're all over the, the arena. And uh, some came over towards us, and, uh, and I picked uh, the wide cam, and the wide cam didn't have an angle. It was, too, it, was, it was below them. It was out of shot, and we missed somebody going through a table. It just completely, absolutely missed it. Thankfully... Thankfully, um, um, our friend Katie, who was helping us with audio that night, um, she was industrious enough. She, again, instincts. This, this is instincts at this point. Pulls out her phone, not quick enough to get the thing, but at least snapped a few pictures of the aftermath um, that we were not able to get to. Like, even afterwards, like, we couldn't get our person to it. We didn't know that, that we needed somebody over there, and we were running some different cabling. Um, and, and that even precluded us from going backstage to do interviews that we normally do. No chance of us getting it. Absolutely no chance of us getting it. Um, but we at least have that. And she got a little bit of footage of the aftermath on our phone and we could put that on the DVD. Not the greatest, but we got something. Otherwise you just have reactions, have no idea, not even like who went through, what happened, but that's the backups. That's the getting what you can with what you have and all else fails. Pulled out the phone, got the thing, did a periscope, did this something, captured it. It's all about capturing it. Something, if everything else goes wrong. But there's a little bit of my philosophy. This is why we have backups on backups on backups. This is why I have a WordPress email that sends me the database every week because, because that scares the crap out of me uh, about the idea of losing a database. Because that's happened to me so many times. I talked about Western PA Juggalos when I was talking about the uh, last episode on, on where you need a place to experiment. And uh, I had lost that database so many times. So now I'm in WordPress. That's what, that's what kept me from running to, to WordPress when that became an option was, but what about that database? That database goes, everything goes. I don't know how to deal with that. I actually know a little bit more 
than I give myself credit for. I, I, I've done an SQL class. I've done, I, I understand how to get around it a bit. It actually did a pretty uh, admirable job when I brought the site over to a new server uh, uh, last, about a year ago. So on that, on that point, thank you, everybody. Basics Organomics. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.